And, uh, and I believe what the quadricizer does is really engage the brain. It's engaging the brain in the reciprocal uh, relationships that are in the body. Mm -hmm. And so it's really, really working on the ability for the, the, uh, the brain to engage and to get that re-education going in the, in the patient that's been mm -hmm. affected with Parkinson's, that's beautiful on Parkinson's disease. Uh, I've heard patients say, uh, there's one guy that I've got on there now, says, I feel like I'm walking. I'm walking. And he goes, it's mm -hmm. beautiful because I don't have to think. So it's really mm -hmm. great. So we have patients that we see, we really do focus on um, uh, pain management. Uh, but the patients we come in have MS and Parkinson's disease. Uh, we have, um, you know, chronic chronic pain. I have some stroke victims as well, uh, aneurysm patient that I'm seeing right now, and uh, it just feels like to them that their tone is normalizing. Uh, they say that they just feel like they have better control. I've seen increased w uh, walking ability. I've even seen an increase in their speech uh, and being able. Okay. Yes, most definitely. So that's really really cool. So we've really, really been thrilled to have it here and to be able to utilize it. Tell me what this does for Parkinson's patients. Well, there's several things uh, that the quadricizer can do for Parkinson's patients um, because you're, you're dealing with an imbalance of the agonist and antagonist muscles. And so what it's doing is because it can activate one and relax the other. So you're doing this reciprocal motion again, the brain. It's coming from the brain you're able to relax one and activate the other, activate the other, relax one, which is normal movement. And so that's what it's doing, it's normalizing the motion. Because it, it, it's, a, it's um, an automatic motion, and the patient, the Parkinson's patient, or the neurological patient, is not having to think when they're making these motions. They become more automatic. It's a higher center of the brain that's being activated. So. What have you seen with some of your Parkinson's patients? Um, the, the reports that they set, tell me or what they say when they're, they're actually uh, on the quadricizer is, wow, this is so relaxing because they don't have to think so hard. Uh, generally, they have to think so hard to make any movement, um, just to walk, just to get up from a chair, um, just to reach out to, to pick up something, pick up, you know, put on a shirt. Some of the things that they do ADL-wise is that it's just very difficult. The normal movements that you and I make are very easy to make, and for them it's not, it's just they have to think because they have lack of chemicals like a dopamine in the brain, and so that's what activates that ability for us to move normally. And for them, they don't have to think. And so it's beautiful because uh, you know they, they feel like they're walking naturally and not having to it's not so effortful it's actually an effortless type of exercise um, which and then it stretches them and the other things that they say so